Now then, at the weekend, our television screen saw the return of Britain's Got Talent as well, so I thought it was an ideal time to catch up with a friend of the show, fine art student Nathan Wyburn. In 2010, he painted my portrait portrait using a Marmite on toast, and last year he appeared again on Britain's Got Talent. Now he joins me in the studio to update us on what's been going on. Nathan, you're very welcome always. How are you? Very good, thanks. thanks and for actually, you, you've, you've done, if I can use that word, yes. uh, Catherine Jenkins as well. That's right, yeah. In chocolate? In chocolate. Really? Yep. Did you, has she seen it? Yeah, she posted it on her Twitter account, saying that a friend sent her the picture, so it's quite cool. Oh, yeah. I noticed you've had a few tattoos since last we met. Do you, <laughs> do you do a hobble as a warrior or something? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of an ad- addiction going on now. Is there really? <laughs> now then, I don't know where to start, really. I mean, tell me about the edible art exhibition you took part in earlier this month, then. Right, yeah, that was down in Pool by Bournemouth. Right, And basically yeah. a bunch of students put together a huge exhibition in, in which all the students of Bournemouth Art College was to create edible art pieces, right. and mainly inspired by my work, Seen on Britain's Got Talent. Yes. So they got me down as a guest and to have a few of my artworks on display. And that was awarded the Olympic Inspire mark because it was Olympics-inspired, and yes. that means it's recognised by the London team, oh, gosh. which is quite amazing, really. Yeah, yeah better, better. Yeah. So all kinds of edible stuff, was it? Yes, um, all the students were using things like pasta and flour and different things, but mine was the traditional marmite and toast that I used. So right. I created portraits of yeah. Tom Daly and Steve Bradgrave. Duh. Do I remember now you were on sort of last year's X Factor, weren't you? Britain's Got Talent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent, that's right, yeah. that's right, that's the one, isn't it? And, and Bonnie Tyler actually bought one of her pieces? She did, yes. I did a, a charity event in the Hilton Hotel not so long ago, just before Christmas, I think it was. In Cardiff, yeah? Yep. Yeah, right. And one of my pieces were up for auction for the charity that it was for, Save the Children, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, And she, she bidded for it and she won it. It's quite amazing. Was it her? Yes, it was her. She, it got was up, it. she accepted it and she did a little song as well. <laughs> Oh, well done. Yes. Yeah, and your artwork is now appearing in national newspapers. Yes, it's quite strange. My, uh, it, I still can't believe it. people even enjoy it that much, you know. Yeah. But um, my most recent piece of Rupert Murdoch, which I created, is about 10 foot tall. It's using over 5,000 images of phone hack victims, just small images to make up a huge portrait. Gosh. And that made the front page of The Guardian, so... Yeah. That's more than I could have ever asked for. Yeah, and it's, well, they'll probably be coming back to you for various other things now. Yeah, I should hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you were asked, let me just say, you were asked by a certain bread company mm-hmm. uh, to do a marmite and toast painting of the royal wedding kiss on the balcony. That's right, yeah. And they carried out a survey, this bread company, to see what was the most proud British moment of the past few years. And the royal wedding topped that, so I created that next to the London Bridge. In London, yes. at about 5am in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know now the, the creations that you have in yes. Marmite and Toast and so on? And they're up for exhibition, but there comes a sell-by date, doesn't they? They do, yeah. Yeah. And so what happens to it? Uh, I normally um, give it to horses to eat. Oh, do you? Yeah, I live near a horse farm, so they come along and chomp on the Marmite and Toast. It's quite they love good. it, do they? Yes, they love it. <laughs> it's apparently good for their health, health as well. So. Yes. Uh, we've also linked, you know, to one of your videos on the on the Roy Noble Show Facebook yep. page. But you, um, but your videos now have a regular slot on S4C. They do, yes. Um, the new Welsh Learning Programme, Hub. Oh, yeah, well, I was talking to uh, Matt, Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson, yeah, yeah. And Neil Parry hosted yeah, as well. That's right, yeah. And so my videos get a regular spot, sort of a guess, can you guess who they are sort of thing. And then after the break, you come back and all in Welsh for the learners to guess who they are. So. And you've done the work first? And yes, yeah, to, all you know, the videos. From yeah. looking at your work, they used right. to get, yeah. yeah. And is it still mostly Marmite and Toast or what? Um, that's what a lot of people recognise me for yeah. and they ask me for different commissions right. and whatnot, yeah. but there's quite a lot of other things as well, sugar, ketchup, chocolate, right? anything really. Do you actually, dare I ask, do you actually get sponsored by a certain company? Um, they, they now and again send me a few pots in the post. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately not money, no. <laughs> oh dear. So what have you got planned now for this coming year? Um, right now I'm in my final two or three months of university studying oh, fine arts, right. so right now I was knuckling down and trying to get that done. Yeah. What, what's the brief now? Do you, do you actually, uh, in art, it's difficult. Do you have to sit an exam? Do you have three hours to create something or what? Um, basically 50% of the overall degree is based on your final show, what you right. decide to put on the wall and the, support, the supporting right. work that goes with it. So that's mainly what I'm trying to sort out now. Right. So 50%. Yeah. Do you have theory then and questions? And there's a dissertation. Or is there? Um, just like every other uni course, but yeah. there's not much theory, it's just all your yeah. practical work. Gosh. 
And you're also yeah. putting on an exhibition as one in Tredegar, isn't it? In Tredegar, um, the Bed Royalty House and Park recently oh, reopened. They do yes. monthly exhibitions with yeah, artists. That's right. And I'm having a launch party on the 29th of June, which everyone's invited to. Right. So anyone listening. And it's basically going to be there the whole month of July. Yes. All my work on display. Yeah. All right. Which is great. Yeah. And if anybody is visiting, go along with a friend and just hold their hand in case there might be similar resembles Roy Noble on the wall. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're hoping now to, uh, obviously, uh, secure more commissions. Yes, it'd be, um, obviously university's coming to an end, so it'd be nice to have something a little bit more yeah. secure. And the, the ideal dream is a career in children's television, something like Art Attack used to be like, as I've said before. Right, yeah. It's basically creating... Th- something out of an everyday material yeah just sort of inspiring young kids to sort of think a little bit differently and yes. think outside but the box are you preparing well you you suggested now you're, you're completing your degree now this is this a bachelor's or a, or a master's it, it's degree. a bachelor's yeah. bachelor's there we are uh, and i was just wondering uh, are you going to prepare for something solid behind you in case as they say in the old generations whereby possibly you get a teaching qualification Yes, um, I'm, I'm thinking about training to become a tattoo artist as well. So a just, tattoo artist? Yes, just, oh, to mention, the yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to sort of expand my you know, skills a little bit more. So right. I can just, just another medium as an artist, really, yeah. I guess. What do you do for that then? You go on a course for that? Yes, and you do an apprenticeship and find oh. someone to go with and then train yourself. Because yeah, Rod that. Gilbert did that, see, because on Rod Gilbert's sort of job uh, experience uh, right. series, he had to be, well, the, the poor victim. <laughs> you know, she had to tattoo him extraordinarily. Uh, so, and uh, Mama, do you still spread it on your own toes? You have it on the of the odd. Yes, now and again. God, now and again. God, now and again. Well, listen. Thanks for coming in. You're an no inspiration. Problem. There we are, going from strength to strength. Thank you. And that little sort of slight blip on, uh, you know, the X Factor, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. The, you know, well, semi-final. Semi-final. A slight yeah. blip. Actually, that worked as a kind of a, a rocket ship for you, didn't it? In a, in a way, yes, because um, sort of. It didn't knock me down like no. I thought it would, and no. it sort of boosted me to work a lot harder, and I've got a lot of work since. So. Yeah, well yeah. done, well yeah. done. Yeah, we you. are becoming internationally known now, because you haven't touched Europe yet, have you? Um, I, I found out the other day that a few of my stuff have been on Chinese news. Chinese news? So even as far as China now, it's, hey, it's quite strange. You've been making journeys before long. Yeah, it's been Fair nice. Fair play. There we are, making note of the, of the name again. My dad is Nathan Wyburn, but he sort of uses all kinds of food stuffs if you've got his spare in the cupboard. There we mm-hmm. go. Well, good. Continue success to you. And keep, Thank you. Keep in touch with us and we'll see how you're doing. Okay, we have a chat now and again, you see. Yep. It's nice to see somebody going up and up and up. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well Thank done, you. Nathan. Thank you. Now then, at the weekend, our television screen saw the return of Britain.